Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video and a nice simple one really. I'm playing with this stamp set from Dina Wakely called Work in Progress and it's got this fabulous large face stamp on it um, and it's just perfect for this page. So I'm stamping it using archival ink onto some collage tissue paper, that's going to be the start of my page really. Um, I've trimmed it down and I'm just kind of thinking I'm going to add some cool rainbow hair onto the face. So I'm starting off by just adding some white paint where the face and the hair is going to go. Um, white gesso would work just as well. I think all I'm wanting to do is just disappear the craft colour behind because I don't want that to come through the collage tissue paper. Not that it would really matter but that was how I decided I would do it and also adding the white because I'm going to be using rainbow colours it means those colours will keep their vibrancy and they won't be dulled by the uh, brown of the colour uh, the craft paper coming through so I've stuck the image in using some matte medium and then I am starting off with my rainbow hair I wish I had had rainbow hair how amazing would that be I could but no nah, I'm not going to now started going uh, white so I think we'll just embrace that instead slowly though <laughs> so um I have used my usual combination of paints you can see they're Dina Wakely media paints so I've used uh, ruby tangerine lemon lime turquoise um, orchids and blackberry then I'm using a, um, a scribble stick or it might be a neo colour too, just in a like a light pale skin tone, just to bring some colour to that uh, face. And then using the Stabilo all, I'm just pulling some of those lines forward and darkening them up a little bit, because um, adding that colour on it does kind of push those black lines backwards a, a, a touch. And then I'm just drawing some movement lines onto the hair, um, keeping them loose and sketchy because I don't want to go for like fine details here and then I'm just softening those lines using a water brush just water activating and you can see it creates that nice sort of blurred effect so then I decided I would disappear all the craft surprise surprise no white space well it won't surprise you will it actually no it's not a surprise this is mineral this is one of my favorite neutral colors that Dina does um it's just such a lovely color it goes with anything it's just perfect um and I was loving how the Stabilo pencil had kind of blurred into the paint as well. So instead of going in with collage paper, I decided I would use um, a word stamp for my background here. So I've just stamped things will work out. Things will work out over and over and over again um, until it filled the space. And then, of course, the palette pastels just to add a bit of blush to the cheeks, a little bit, a bit more colour. Um, just keeping it really simple. Sometimes it's just nice to just keep it simple and just play. This is one of my stencils from Funky Fossil and just added a bit of white on there just to add some um, contrast against the mineral. Then I've gone in with a nice thin brush and added a little bit of, um, well, just some more movement lines onto the hair. And using my Shoot for the Stars um, text stamp, adding some stamping on there as well. And then I stamped out the words onto um, some collage tissue paper and arranged those onto the page and um, kind of like played with them a little bit, decided where I would put them. And I thought maybe that would work. And then I think I decided I didn't like them like that. So I ended up sticking them on like this instead. So obviously because I've gone in with a Stabilo All Pencil, I've got to be a little bit careful when I'm adding the uh, matte medium onto the background because it will activate that pencil. So I am being a little bit careful, um, but not worrying about it really because, you know, if it does, it does. That's OK. It doesn't matter. Things will work out. It's so true. And then, of course, I've gone in with my dotty stamp, added some dots and then a white border around the page. Some neon pink splatters in stoked, which is one of the Dina glosses. Um, and that was this page done. This is a really quick video. So a nice, simple but effective 
art journal page. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this quick video and I hope to see you again soon.